Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the in-depth series. My name is Pooja Devedi. Today we are going to discuss timekeeping for moon. There is a need for having time zones for the only natural satellite of the earth that is the moon. Let us look at this. Why do we need it and how will it work? So these are the myriad topics that we are going to discuss step by step from the perspective of GS means paper 1 and GS means paper 3rd. So from the prelims perspective it is also very important. Now let's talk about it. Now we have to know that the moon has its own day and night. It doesn't work like the earth and that lasts about 29.5 earth days. If we have to give an example, for example if humans were to live on the moon they would need to develop their own type keeping system. Now it might be that scientists and astronauts they are thinking to colonize the moon. So maybe because of that also it is happening. Currently, the moon, the time on the moon is measured using universal time coordinated. So, that is also used for the earth. Moon's day is much longer than earth's day and it would be difficult to use UTC for day-to-day -day activities on the moon. That is why different timekeeping system is being suggested. So, if we talk about universal time coordinated, it is a time standard which is used to keep time consistent and uniform around the world. It is done with the help of international atomic time which is maintained by the atomic clocks around the world and it is the primary time standard which is used in many countries, international organization as well as scientific research institution. How is it measured or expressed? It is measured as a 24 hour clock and this is used to indicate the time offset from coordinated universal time plus whatever the number is. Like time zones are defined as an offset from UTC. How different are they, they from the universal time uh, coordinated? For, with some time zones being ahead of UTC, like Greenwich Mean Time, we also know the similar concept for this as well, and others being behind. Okay, it is adjusted periodically to account for changes in the Earth's rotation. That is why length of the day might vary some places. Now, why do we need lunar time zone? We know that it is the Earth's only natural satellite and humans are interested in exploring it and also colonizing it. Also, it is important that we have stations over there so that we can go beyond the current planets that we have already explored. So, it would be a shorter distance from the, uh, if you compare it from the Earth. Now, to address this issue, scientists and researchers have proposed creating a lunar time zone that would be based on moons day and night. It would make easier for lunar settlers who the, such as scientists and astronauts who are working there on some scientific experiment and it will be easier for scientists and researchers to conduct experiments and there would be no confusion between what the time on the earth is and what the time on the moon is. Now if we talk about challenges, there are many challenges because it would be very difficult to synchronize time on the moon and the earth because there the clock runs faster and that gains around 56 microseconds or a millionth of a second per day and that will amount to a lot. It would be difficult to establish a consistent time zone for the entire moon because of the terrain. Terrain is also very different from what we see on the earth. Additionally, any time keeping system on the moon, it would need to be account, it would need to be able to account for the moon's irregular rotation and movement which which right now the scientists do not understand. This is a very nascent stage. So I hope you understood this topic and that's it. Thank you so much for watching.